kitchen and a tradition of excellence began in 1857 when instruction was initiated at the University of Iowa, 10 years after the university was chartered. This tradition has been continued from the large scale material testing equipment of decades ago to microchips. Fiber optics. Robotics. Orthopedic biomechanics. Computer aided design. And ice engineering. I considered going away to school, out east to Harvard, west to Caltech, but I decided to come to the University of Iowa because for me, it had the most to offer. An engineering major is a real challenge. There's a lot to learn, but it's really pretty enjoyable, and I feel easier to study when you believe you're learning something important. Engineering provides a unique opportunity to be both creative and productive. The College of Engineering's moderate size, coupled with the large size of the University of Iowa, provides the best of both worlds. Inside the college, classes are small enough that you can ask questions, get to know your professors, make friends with your classmates. You don't feel like a number. Outside, the university provides a quality of life which I feel is unique. It's refreshing to come out of your thermodynamics class and walk across the river to the art museum with a friend. The engineering program at the University of Iowa is one of the finest in the country. Our faculty team is young and active in research, and they're able to implement the forefront of engineering research in the classroom. The University of Iowa has entered into an agreement with a private company to manufacture and market state-of-the-art computer software developed by our mechanical engineering faculty. Um, we can do things in engineering now to develop new and improved products that we just couldn't begin to do 10 years ago. The challenge of the engineer is to start with that new basic technology and create new products and new ways of doing things that didn't exist before. We've uh, just initiated a brand new network of small computers that tie into larger machines. The, uh, the student is introduced to these computers in his freshman year and will use them all the way through the four-year program and when it gets done we're going to have a whole new generation of engineers that use the computer to carry out these tedious computations that the engineer had to do with a slide rule years ago and I think this department is, is uh, as aggressive as any you'll find anywhere in getting students involved in use of the computer so they feel comfortable with it when they get out into applications. 95% of our engineering faculty members hold PhD degrees and have industrial experience. Many have been nationally recognized for their contributions to engineering education and research. Civil engineering means problem solving and in particular human problem solving. It involves making life better and making life more civil for people in the world today. My particular subtrack is environmental engineering. For the past five years we've been studying lakes in uh, Boundary Waters Canoe Area of Minnesota, Northern Wisconsin, the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, and a seven state area involving the Adirondack Mountains of New York and all of New England. In addition, we have one project uh, in the Swiss Alps in Switzerland and Central Germany as well. We have graduate students working on these projects, professors, as well as undergraduate students involved in some of these uh, research projects. We're interested in making pure water, good quality water for drinking for people, as well as cleaning up uh, polluted water. The Engineering College offers its students opportunities to complement their classroom learning with practical experiences in their chosen field of study. The University Water Plant is managed by the Civil Engineering Department and operated in part by university students. 
I've been working here at the University of Iowa water plant for the past year and a half. I work full time on the weekends and I'm completely responsible for its operation. Here in Iowa City we maintain higher purity standards than most cities because we must provide water to the university hospitals as well as the main campus. Students in biomedical engineering assist with research on artificial heart valves. We're working to try to improve the valves which caused so much trouble with the first artificial heart implantation. Most of my time is spent working in this hemodynamics lab where we do tests using the in vitro system. And then I also help when we implant the heart valves in research animals. And then we take that data and use the computer to graph plots of that information. This hemodynamics lab is a research center on heart valves for the National Institute of Health. My experiences here in the lab allow me to apply what I learned in my engineering classes. I will go on to medical school where I can specialize in an area that utilizes my engineering background, such as radiology or biomechanics. Uh, biomedical engineering is the uh, newest program at the University of Iowa in engineering. This is unique in the state of Iowa, and we are the only biomedical engineering department available in the Big Ten institutions. The College of Engineering's association with the University Hospital, the largest university-affiliated teaching hospital in the world, provides our faculty and students unique opportunities. A number of the students from the biomedical engineering program work with us here in the Department of Orthopedic Surgery Biomechanics Laboratory. Our lab's focus is on the application of engineering principles to the mechanics of the musculoskeletal system. You know, I'm surprised sometimes at how many of my non-engineering friends are dissatisfied with their classwork. But that's just not the case with me over at engineering. That first year can be pretty rough, but it's rewarding and it continues to be exciting. And you know, the opportunity to be part of cutting edge research and technology just gives you a fantastic feeling. Chemical engineers are involved in the production of new chemicals and chemical products. And when you think about it, that represents almost all products that we use today. We are currently entering a new technological revolution, that of the new biology or genetic engineering. And it has the potential to be greater than the industrial or computer revolutions. Chemical engineers are playing a critical role in bringing this new technology into production. And this represents just one of the many high technological applications of chemical engineering. The engineering program at the University of Iowa is committed to providing the best education for its incoming students. But the college doesn't just train engineers, it builds better people. Here at Iowa, I've got the best chance of being able to make a positive difference by knowing my stuff and keeping in touch so I can ask, how can this best help people? The important thing about engineering is you're working in, in real life, solving design problems, and uh, you're actively involved in the design of a product. And uh, it's something that uh, uh, is going to have a positive impact on that person's life or on uh, the, perhaps the uh, life of an entire society. People in industrial engineering are people who enjoy working with others. Industrial engineers basically are designers of large-scale systems of people, men, and machines. The industrial engineer looks at the big picture of what makes society perform best. An IE works with and motivates people. They determine what tools should be used and how they will be implemented. An IE may be employed in almost any type of industry, business, or institution. Two of our recent graduates will even be involved in the development of a prototype automobile for a major U.S. company. Electronic engineers are at the leading edge of technology today. It's an area where a five-year-old textbook is already obsolete. Preparing the silicon wafer, we use techniques similar to those used to take a photograph. And in this machine here, we expose the wafer to light, which etches the pattern into a material. Someday, a chip like this could be used in computer memory banks, aircraft radios, or even televisions. Students interested in entering the corporate culture upon graduation 
should consider our five-year combined degree program culminating in a Master's of Business Administration degree. This accelerated professional track program is open to exceptional engineering students and carries with it a significant scholarship award. Once students are admitted to the college, they can expect to get classes and can complete a degree program in four years. You know, I feel lucky to live in an age when it seems that individuals have the potential to improve life for others. Our small size belies our legacy of excellence. The graduates of this college include some of the most innovative, creative, and important people in the country. Alumni include research scholars, important patent holders, successful entrepreneurs, university educators, and presidents of major corporations. I graduated from the College of Engineering at the University of Iowa in 1948. The knowledge, discipline, and the analytical skills I gained from my Iowa education have served me well in my career. As an engineering student at the University of Iowa, you will be learning to make important decisions, to achieve desired results, and to actually help shape the years ahead. We live in a technological society, and the function of the engineer is to transform fundamental technology into useful products and, and useful tools. Uh, it's going to have a positive impact on a person's life or on the uh, life of an entire society. I'm committed to providing the type of education that will enable my students to make the decisions necessary to ensure that technology has a positive impact on society. It makes you proud to see someone come back after they've been out a few years and they may have made their mark in, uh, in business, uh, in industry, within a governmental agency, and they've really contributed to the success of a project somewhere and they're able to come back and share it with you. It really makes you proud.